مرحبا بكم في الجزء الثامن من كتاب English by the Nature Method The Eighth Chapter The Clock A day has 12 hours A night has also 12 hours A day and a night have 24 hours An hour has 60 minutes And a minute has 60 seconds How many hours has a day? It has 12 hours. How many hours have a day and a night? A day and a night have 24 hours. How many minutes are there in an hour? There are 60 minutes in an hour. How many seconds are there in a minute? There are 60 seconds in a minute. An hour is a long time. A second is a short time. On the wall in Mr. Smith's house is a clock. The clock has a face with 12 figures on it. One is a figure. Three is a figure. Eleven is a figure. There are also two hands on the clock. A long hand and a short hand. The hands of the clock give the time. The short hand gives the hours and the long hand gives the minutes. Where is Mr. Smith's clock? It's on the wall in his house. What does the clock do? The clock gives the time of the day. The short hand gives the hours and the long hand gives the minutes. Is there no hand to give the seconds? Yes. On the face of the clock there is another small face with figures and the very small hand. Are the figures also very small? Yes, they are very small. Baby is very young. She is only six months old. Is Mr. Smith very old? No, he is not. He is 36 years old. A second is a very short time. A watch is, a, is smaller than a clock. Mr. Smith has a watch and Mrs. Smith has a very small watch on her arm. But John and Helen have no watches. They are too young to have watches. Mr. Smith gave Mrs. Smith her watch when she was 25 years old. The day when she was 25 years old was her birthday. Her birthday is on the 29th of October. John's birthday is on the 26th of July. On his birthday, his parents gave him some books and a football. Has Mrs. Smith a watch? Yes. Mr. Smith gave Mrs. Smith a watch on her birthday when she was 25 years old. Has John a football? Yes. His parents gave him a football on his birthday. In two years, when he is 14 years old, his father will give him a watch on his birthday. When he is 14, when he is 14, he will have a watch. His father will not 
give him a watch when he is 13 years old. The children will go to school tomorrow. They will read their books and they will write with pens or pencils. When it is John's birthday, he will be 13 years old. Helen will be 11 years old on her birthday. Baby will be one year old on her birthday. Tomorrow, the children will be at school. The parents will not be at school. They will be in the house. After school, the children will be in the garden. When will John be 14 years old? He will be 14 in two years. When is Helen's birthday? Helen's birthday is on the 16th of March. When is Mr. Smith's birthday? His birthday is on the 13th of July. When is the baby's birthday? Her birthday is on the 10th of June. Where will the children be tomorrow? Tomorrow they will be at school. When will the baby be one year old? She will be one year old in six months. Helen will be 14 in four years. Mrs. Smith will be 35 in three years. When the short hand is at figure 2 and the long hand is at the figure 12, it's 2 o'clock. When the short hand is at 3 and the long hand at 12, it's 3 o'clock. When the short hand is at 3 and the long hand at 11, it's five minutes to three. When the long hand is at one and the short hand at three, it's five minutes past three. What time is it when the short hand is at four and the long hand at three? Then it's a quarter past four. Then it's a quarter past four. What time is it when the short hand is at five and the long hand at nine? Then it's a quarter to five. What time is it when the long hand is at five and the short hand is between one and two? Then it's 25 minutes past one. What time is it when the long hand is at six and the short hand is between five and six? Then it's half past five. A half an hour is 30 minutes. A quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. At what time do the children go to school? They go to school at nine o'clock. They go to school at nine. How long are the children at school? They are at school from nine o'clock to four o'clock. From nine to four. They are at school from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock. At twelve o'clock they go to their houses. Then they go to school at two o'clock and are there from two o'clock to four o'clock. At what time do the children go home from school? They go home from school at four o'clock. Their father is not at home when they come from school, but their mother is at home. 
their father comes home at half past five. Then all the persons in the family are at home. When the children are at school, they are away from home. They are away from home from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock and from two o'clock to four o'clock. They are away from home for five hours. Mrs. Smith goes away from home at half past eight and comes home at half past five. He is away from home for nine hours every day. He is at home for 15 hours. The children are at home for 19 hours. When does Mr. Smith come home? He comes home at half past five. What time is it when Mr. Smith comes home? It's half past five. How long is he away from home? every day. He is away for nine hours. How long are the children away? They are away from home for five hours. On Sundays, they are all at home. Is summer the, in summer, the children play for two hours in the garden, but at half past six, it's time for the children to read their school books. Where are John and Helen when they read their school books? Then they are in the house. When is it time to go to school? It is time to go to school at nine o'clock. When is it time to come in? from the garden. It is time to come in from the garden at half past six. What do the children do when they come in from the garden? They read their school books. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.